I knew I needed to do this. It was now or never. I've been going every Sunday for a good month now, and I just, I love the Fellowship family, and I'm super blessed to have my family here today. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> it's very emotional for me. I've been uh, battling depression for a long time, and um, I have a two-year-old daughter, and she's been going to church with her grandpa for a long time, and I just, I wanted to do good by her too. I wanted to be a good example for her because she's getting older and we're about to have another baby. So I wanted to make my children proud, but not only them, like myself, because I've been very hard on myself and stubborn and just not really wanting to walk in, you know, the, Jesus's path, you know, and I think you know, like not, I think, I know I'm ready now. And I'm ready to just be who I know I am deep inside. And I'm tired of being lost, so here I am. When I first came to Jesus, it, it was my first day at Sunday school on, at Crosstown. My first day, oh, my first day, I was really nervous. When I came along to the prayer, they asked if you, have you accepted Jesus in your heart? And I said, yes. I was five years old. I like to keep, keep his faith with me when I'm scared. And I, and I also, he always keeps me up and going. I've been in church my whole life, but I never had a personal connection. Um, so after I had my daughter, I just kind of wanted to um, start a better life for her. So that's when I really started my journey to Christ. I always felt like I had to be perfect or I wasn't just at that right moment. And then at the uh, last baptism, I went and I watched everybody who was getting baptized and I listened to their story and it was just kind of an eye opener. So I, I felt at that moment I realized that I don't have to be, you know, perfect. I believe in Christ, so this is the right time for me. The last four years I've struggled with depression and anxiety and really getting bullied. And especially now that God has helped me through it and through all that, I'm very excited to get baptized. I'm ecstatic and I'm actually was jumping up and down a little bit. At camps like immersion, I felt the Holy Spirit telling me, this is the time to get baptized. I just know that whatever he has, it's good, and that I will live my life out for him. Well, I first became a Christian when I was about five or six, and my mom asked me if I wanted to give my life to Jesus, and I said yes, but I didn't like really understand it until I went to Camp Blast and I gave my life to Jesus and it's stronger. You know, I didn't have parents and then when I got adopted, my parents were real strong Christian people. Left home, <laughs> went on my own way, but I always had a mother that sat there and said she prayed for me all the time. I had been asking God to lead me in a direction. I donated my kidney November 23rd 2016. It was just a God-led journey. I knew where he was leading me and I, I didn't give up. I first came to Jesus when my brother and my father died last year. That's when I came to Jesus. And it hurts still about my family, but I have Jesus in my heart now. Christ has helped me a lot with a lot of anxieties with school and stuff and with worrying about what will happen next because I've had problems with my health in the past year and it's helped a lot when I remember he's there. When I was about six or seven, um, my mom led me to Christ, but I didn't really know him that well. When I was 10, I went to Secret Keeper Girl with my Bible study group and after that I gave my heart to Jesus. When I was about six, my dad helped me bring Christ in my life. I witnessed God the most in my life just a couple weeks ago, and I really wanted to pursue that and show everyone that what I had. I came to Christ at Camp Blast, which was a church camp that Pastor Mark led. He asked, has anyone not come to Christ? I just felt moved, so I stood up and I offered my heart to the Lord. Jesus means everything. He's my world, because without him, I can't do anything. He's helped me, like, if I'm having a bad day, I open the word and I read the right thing that helps me 
and reminds me of the truth and not the lies. I came to know Jesus when I was three. We were in the car getting ready to go home and Mama just buckled me, but I unbuckled myself and said I didn't want to buckle. She said, if you don't buckle, we could get in a crash. And then I decided to buckle up, so Mom buckled me. And then we got home, I asked her, what happens when we die? And she told me the story. Then I decided to follow Jesus. Around summer 20, 2015, I accepted my life to Jesus. I want to get baptized today, not because all my friends are doing it, but Jesus is telling me to get baptized on this day. It's pretty much the next best thing in my life. It wasn't long after my Aunt Tracy died of cancer that I kind of realized that I need to start getting serious about this. And so I kind of asked Jesus into my heart that night that I kind of realized that she wasn't going to make it because I knew that life was very unpredictable. And I also knew that God could help me get through this stuff and really help me get over it. We are very humble and very, very thankful that God has never given up on us and God has always been good to us. So we're very, very The humbled. blessings that we have had are just like, wow. Yeah. Around five years ago, I felt something pulling and I wasn't sure what it was. And I didn't go on that path. I instead chose the wrong path. And I made a lot of negative choices and I felt like my whole world was crumbling around me. So I really felt that I didn't have any choice but to try to give it to God. And that's the first time that I heard him speak to me. And I've been able to give others grace, forgive, forgive myself. And the rebuild with him has been absolutely amazing.